Well, here we are. I woke up the other morning with the name Patria, a phone number, and 50% of a horse written on my arm. So we're here at NZ Bloodstock to catch up with the lass, see if she remembers me, and fill in the gaps on a brilliant but shaky night. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Jay. Welcome to Karaka, Jay. Well, it's great to be here. And um, from the conversation we had the other night, I believe that we are partners. We are. You've come to the right place. You want to have a look around? All right, let's go. Thank you for remembering me. I'm a forgettable guy. Um, apart from the sign that I saw when we came in, whereabouts are we at the moment? So right now you're at New Zealand Bloodstock's auction house, the Cracker yep. Sale Centre. And this is where it all happens. This is where we have a great big yearling sale January every year. We sell about 1,500 horses. And um, this is where the buyers and the sellers all come together and dreams come true. This is this is vaguely what I remember our conversation being. <laughs> you own half, I own the other half, and I can have as many people in that half as I want. Absolutely. So what we sort of—I'm surprised you remember anything—but yeah. what we kind of had together was that we're going to go, we're going to create a syndicate. Perfect. Racing's fun, and a lot of people don't know how to get into it. So this is a great way to say, look, come and be part of our plan. And um, so you and I were in it half and half. Perfect. But you can, you know, open it up to the masses and as many people as you want and you also get half the winnings. Cool, we're in the perfect place um, to get a horse. Yep. What are the next steps and how do I actually go about working with you, my syndicate buddy, yeah. to getting an actual horse that we have? Well, we need to go down to the training complex in Mangatautri, yep. where Pinkara HQ is. And I have a chat to Rambo because he's got a whole lot of fillies that are all primed and ready to go. Yeah. And between you, you might be able to see one that you like and one that likes you and pick one out. We think New Zealand horses are the best in the world. Yeah. So that's what we sell, it's what we breed, and they go great guns um, all over the world, particularly in Australia and particularly in the Melbourne Cup, which is one of the biggest races in the world and one of the races that everybody wants to win. And the last New Zealand bred filly that won the Melbourne Cup was in 2001 and that was a filly called Ethereal. Yeah. And Ethereal was bred and raced by Pen Carrister. So they've got form. We've got, we've got winning form. And if we want to race it, do we need to trawl the streets or the classifieds to find a small person that's <laughs> skinny or a 12 year old kid that we can throw on the back of it? How do we go about getting it a jockey? I think uh, Rambo has some pretty good connections so any of that tricky stuff he'll take care of. I kind of figured with a name like Rambo that he would have connections somewhere <laughs> in and around the horse racing industry. Oh that's, that's really awesome. I'm a very excited person Good. Uh, and I am a half owner. You are. Hit me. Good luck. Hit me. We're both going to need that. <laughs> we are. <laughs>